evening, everybody. We want to welcome you here tonight. Uh, we've got a wonderful crowd, and as you can see, some absolutely amazing watercolors. So, we've got some thanks for tonight. As you can see, this is really amazing. And we have so many people, but we're not going to take long. We're going to rattle on through so we can talk to the awards, which are going to to know who has won. So, we have our patron tonight, Adrian from Melka from Mitchelton, and she has sponsored these small awards, so we will see her shortly. And of course, we have our guest artist, Brian, Brian Baxter. Could you just stop and welcome Brian? Brian is from Venom, and unfortunately, we had to cancel him due to, you know what, COVID uh, two, a year or so ago. And uh, so we had 12 works ready to bring to us. But of course, we have to say, mm -hmm. next month, please, Brian. So uh, we got him here, and there's an array of beautiful paintings, as you can see. I'd like to thank our selectors. We have Alex Stroff here, an ex-president Helen Wilson and John McDonnell. They've had an almighty job of choosing and <laughs> selecting. We also have our designers, Alfred Medling and John Toft, very experienced designers and they are people. And that was also a fairly big thing that we had to do, but as you can see, beautifully done. So we have volunteers. Our volunteers have come from far and wide. New Plymouth, we have Waikato, we have Lennon, and of course all our fabulous local people, without whom we couldn't get on with all of this. And last but not least, our fabulous committee. Watercolor New Zealand is very good with some active doers, planners, thinkers, everything that the committee needs, we've got one of them. So, Without further ado, I just want to thank our sponsors, Gordon Harris, for the support of our society. Gordon Harris sponsors the Innovation Award, the Junior Artist Award. They support our newsletter and the winter competition. Memlink Art Space is sponsoring the People's Choice Award. Uh, so do vote to pick out your favorite terrible job to do, because there will be plenty, I'm sure. Choose favorite and put that nomination in the box. Bryce Gallery, artist tutor Win Kim, has sponsored an award for Tone. Tone, as you can see from Brian's work, is super important. And I welcome tonight to the Ceramicus, the Potter's Group representative. We've had a great time. David, the Ceramicus, representative uh, with, as you see, really beautiful pottery. And uh, they've supported us and we support them. So thank you for coming tonight, David. Now, what we usually say is, we have the walls, you have the floor. That's the potters and the painters. <laughs> so that NZAFA, the Fine Arts Gallery, thank you for allowing us to exhibit this lovely, lovely space. It is so suitable for watercolor, beautiful light, ceiling, and wonderful space. So without much further ado, I'm going to get Brian to have a little word. Uh, so I'll just introduce Brian Baxter, our guest artist. You may have heard that someone say, I don't know much about art, but I know what I like. Well, I don't know much about art, but I like what I see here today. That's the results of the honest efforts of so many artists of varying experience and confidence. Some of them have won awards and some of them have not, but all who have made a serious attempt to present their best work for us to enjoy. And although I may not know much about art, I do know from my own personal experience what has gone into producing each of the artworks in this room today. And I'd like to congratulate you all for putting out and taking the risks associated with exposing your work to public scrutiny like this. 
little like being judged by one of your peers whose calls are often going to be no better than those of a referee in a rugby test. A matter of personal opinion, personal taste, personal preference, personal judgment, possibly controversial, prone to human error. Like the man with the wooden legs said, a matter of opinion. <laughs> I want to thank the <laughs> work of the New Zealand Splash Committee and team who have brought this brilliant exhibition to fruition again after last year's COVID disaster. It doesn't just happen, but naming people is always going to be dangerous because some of you new workers I just don't even know your names, but I do know a heck of a lot of work and ex expertise has been put in by a lot of people, including the likes of President Chrissy Menzies, Jill Hartstrong, Alfred Memelik, Sue Wilde, Charlotte Heard, John Toff, Peter James, let alone all your others I haven't even met yet. Thank you all. Thanks to the Academy for such a brilliant venue. Thanks to the New Zealand War Fellow Society for inviting me to be guest artist. I feel very privileged and humbled. And I rate it as a highlight of my nearly half century art career. Thanks friends and family who have come, who have travelled all sorts of distances, not necessarily because of your love of art, but just to give your support today. And thanks to my wife, Cathy, for your enduring support and encouragement through my sometimes rather self-indulgent periods wrestling with the difficulties and frustrations of watercolour. These days, technology enables fantastic effects with computerised art of all sorts, moving, static, abstract, representational, graphic, virtual, some brilliant stuff. But my hope and belief is that handcrafted art will retain its place in the world simply because that's what it is. Handcrafted without mechanical or technological assistance. Containing an artist's mistakes and successes, failures and triumphs, all at the same time, some accidental and some pre-planned. The beauty of imperfection. Hand-painted artists to be like live musical performance by skilled musicians like Alfred and Tonight. Uh, even with the odd bum note, always some doubt more appealing than the perfect pre-recorded performance on a karaoke machine. Computer-generated art and high-resolution, high-quality printing processes are very impressive, fascinating in fact, but the human touch is the ultimate magic touch. Different people will always have different perceptions of what's good in art and what isn't, but I think the definition of art is something that titillates the senses, hopefully pleasantly, will always stand true. And finally, in a world in turmoil, with crime, drugs, angry people rebelling and revolting everywhere, war as in Ukraine, etc., this scene is an oasis of peace, tranquility and beauty. I am thrilled to be part of a team of fellow artists striving to the beauty that sits around us. The beauty that inspired Libby Armstrong to sing the song, What a Wonderful World. Thank you. Thank you very much, Brian. That was absolutely lovely. Really thoughtful. Thank you so much. We're going to move on quickly to the awards now. And can get Brian to present these to <laughs> Okay then, tonight we have the Golden Harris Innovation Award and there are plenty of takers for this award but the judge has selected one, and the artist is Pamela Lyons. Thank you. 
Okay, we now have our next award, which is the Bryce Gallery Award. Artist Min Kim uh, lives in Nenon. She's a beautiful artist, very recognizable works. And she has sponsored the award for Tone. And this is dear to a number of artists' heart, Tone Award. And tonight, we are presenting the award to Diane Taylor. Thank you. 